The battle in Wisconsin could determine which party controls the Senate. Fox News Power Rankings lists the race as a toss-up with just 25 days to Election Day. Let's bring in RNC Chairwoman Ronna McDaniel. Mm -hmm. To Gary, Garrett's point about the independent voters, is it your experience, maybe not just in Wisconsin, but as undecided start to focus the mind, we're 25 days away, are they breaking against the Democrats? They are. And as we're seeing our economy in shambles and they see gas prices going up again and they saw the inflation numbers from yesterday, you wake up thinking about the issues you deal with every day. You know it's harder to fill the tank. You know it's harder to get groceries. And so those are the things at the top of the mind of every voter right now because it's right in front of them and it's bringing independence towards Republicans. Having gone through this so many times as you have, with just weeks to go, I mean, voters have lar in large part made up their mind. You know, there could be a big pivot on energy next week. There could be a decision made to bring down those prices or attempt to at least. But do you believe voters have already decided at this point? Yeah, I do. I don't think they've necessarily decided that they're going to vote, right? Mm. So some voters are apathetic. They're unhappy. So what is that last push to make them feel so compelled to go out and vote Republican? And that's where Kevin McCarthy's commitment to America and putting a plan forward and actually articulating what Republicans will do day one if we take back the Senate and the House makes a difference. And those swing voters are absolutely looking at those types mm. of plans. One of the things that you can tell, you could sort of tell how things are going based on where the leaders are headed. So President Biden is raising money uh, in California, but he's going to Oregon. And yep. Republicans have not had a lot of luck in Oregon this past uh, few years, but that could change. I think we have the governor's race here, Kotek versus Johnson versus the Republican Drazen, and it is possible that that will be a pickup for or a flip for the Republicans. Yeah, Drazen's a great candidate, and we have congressional seats that we can pick we up. We have those two. Let's well. see, Oregon 5 is um, mm -hmm. Skinner versus Chavez, I believe. Chavez Demirer, mm -hmm. Lori Chavez Demirer. And you She's think that fantastic. she might be able to do it? I absolutely do. I think that the Democrats didn't get the can candidate they wanted. And so we have an, a pickup opportunity there, and she's fantastic. If you so, make districts four, five, and six in Oregon are all in Alex play. Alex Carlados is another candidate in Oregon that can win as well. So we feel really good about Oregon. The other interesting thing is Biden's going to Pennsylvania, but he's only doing a fundraiser for Fetterman. I mean, Pennsylvania was his home base, right? It was his adopted home state when he ran for president two years ago, and now he won't even campaign with the Senate candidate in a key battleground state. Ronna, we all had a chance to look at your piece this morning. Democrats destroyed the economy. Now it's their worst enemy. How do you ensure that your Republican candidates stay on message knowing that poll after poll shows it's the economy, it's inflation, number one issue for voters right now, when a lot of these debates you have seen, they get personal, right? And there's been attacks, obviously, on the president and his age and some of the cognitive ability of some of these candidates in various states. How do you stay on message? Yeah, we have to. And we've been talking to the candidates. I'm out campaigning all the time. Voters want to hear us talk about what they're dealing with. Mm -hmm. And this White House and the Democrat Party has really turned their back on the suffering of American people and actually ignoring inflation and pretending that it doesn't exist. So we have to articulate that and not get sidetracked. The Democrats want to talk about abortion mm -hmm. or January 6th. Issues that really aren't resonating with voters. It's not something you're waking up thinking about every day. And so if we stay on message and we talk about the economy and crime, crime is a big yep. issue, especially in Wisconsin and Pennsylvania, we'll win. We have about 35 seconds left. Can you just tell us about on the fundraising side of things, the big tech, are you having problems in yes. that area? So Google, the last four days of every month right now, D does zero deliverability on our emails. Zero. Why? It goes from 90% to zero. It's absolute suppression. So we are actually prepping a lawsuit that will be filed very, very soon. It is voter suppression. It is preventing our turnout the vote efforts. This has happened for the past 10 months. We should not have big tech be able to put their thumb on the scale, basically on a utility, preventing people from getting their emails, reminding them to go vote. Wow. All right. Well, we'll pay attention to that and see what Google has to say as well. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here. Thank you, Rana.